welcome everyone to our live webinar series that uh, called Giving Started as a New Realtor. We kicked off our webinar series last week with first week as a new realtor. And we had a jam packed session. We talked about um, choosing the right brokerage and mentors. We talked about how to build a solid business plan and budgeting, how to create a schedule and time blocking for all those who are new to creating their schedules and working for themselves. We talked about gathering all of your marketing assets, uh, launching your social media and creating a content calendar uh, very briefly. And we're going to talk about more about that today. And then we also talked about setting up your CRM and, and your lead generation strategies. And today we're going to talk about digital marketing. And um, if you haven't reg registered for our future sessions, next Monday, we're going to be talking about everybody's favorite topic, lead generation. And then we, um, our fourth session is going to be about getting started on YouTube. So those two sessions, you're definitely going to want to get registered for. So uh, do it as soon as you can, because um, we have so much information to give. And those are kind of the two most popular topics everybody wants to talk about. And we get excited about those as well. So you're definitely going to want to get registered for that. And um, I basically want to introduce myself. My name is Jacob Shireman. I am a realtor here in Houston, Texas with eXp Realty. Um, I have about 14 years in the digital market marketing industry. Um, I also own my own uh, digital marketing company. Um, I am bilingual in English and Spanish. So if Spanish is your first language, I would love to talk to you. I give you training materials in Spanish as well. Like I said, I've been a business owner for over 10 years, and I'm a co-founder of Marketing Mindset uh, with Tharmilla. She's my business partner, and we have a marketing agency uh, that's geared towards real estate professionals. And like I said, I'm a realtor here at eXp Realty and super excited to be here. And so I'm going to go ahead and pass it to Tharmilla so she can introduce herself. Awesome. Thanks so much, Jacob. And I'm super excited to be here. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Tamela Rajasingham. I'm, I'm also a real estate agent with EXP Realty. Originally, uh, we got into this industry not that far uh, ago with my husband and I. If you're following us on our Instagram and social media and YouTube, you'll notice that I'm partnered with my husband, uh, Josh Tavares. And we started in the invest industry as investors because we realized that we wanted to have access to more information so that we're able to partner with people and that we're able to close deals for investors. So that's why we primarily got into the business and things changed a lot in the past couple of months when we uh, understood our brokerage model and the opportunity that was kind of sitting at the table for us. And since then, I've been kind of leveraging my professional experience in marketing. So I've been working in marketing for over nine years, uh, primarily in marketing consulting strategy-based work, uh, primarily for not-for-profit and government sector. And more recently, I kind of dived into helping real estate agents kind of grow and dominate their market. And um, which is why I co-founded a company with Jacob Sharman called Marketing and Mindset. And this and this company is all about uh, providing services for real estate professionals and kind of giving them that competitive advantage in terms of services. So you don't have to be an expert at everything. We're here to do that work for you. And um, in the past couple of months, I had uh, an amazing opportunity to help build my own team. And I'm top 3% here at EXP in terms of um, revenue share organization, which is super exciting. Sorry, I was trying to get unmuted there. So today we're going to go over today's agenda. So let's talk, we're going to be talking about digital marketing for new realtors. So things we're going to cover, we're going to be talking about what is social media marketing and how to get into it. We're going to talk about content marketing, search engine marketing, marketing uh, via KV Core, which is a platform we use here uh, for our CRM at eXp Realty and about digital advertising, you know, those pay-per-click ads, Facebook, Instagram. So we're going to dive into these and, and share with you some strategies on how to grow your real estate business. So let's go ahead and kick off. What is digital marketing? Beautiful. So I wanted to really, instead of you know, right away diving into strategies and how to leverage these to help grow your business. I thought I want to take a step back. And I know that we have a lot of new agents in here and we wanted to take the time to kind of, you know, give people informative information so that you understand what you have to create and how you can leverage this model and how you could attract uh, clients. So what is digital marketing? Digital marketing 
it, it essentially it refers to marketing on the internet uh, through digital channels. It's another term for internet marketing. Um, so anything to do with digital marketing encompasses all marketing efforts that uses an electronic device or even the internet. So businesses that are leveraging digital tools such as search engines, which we'll get into social media, which we'll get into emails and other websites to really connect uh, with their current and potential customers. And the, the exciting things about it is that not only is this less expensive um, than traditional marketing, but it's a lot easier for you to do. And you can you have the ability to reach a large number of, of, of people uh, who are new and existing customers with less money, uh, which is the, the key part. So in less time, less money, but opportunity for you to attract more, more customers to your business and more eyes on your business. So that's essentially in a nutshell what digital marketing is. So now let's dive a little deep into one aspect of digital marketing, which is social media marketing. Yeah, exactly. So social media marketing, what is? So let's talk about what is social media marketing. Social media marketing is basically using social media platforms to to get in front of an audience, to grow your brand, increase sales and drive website traffic. So this is going to be involved with you publishing content on your social media profile, um, listening to and engaging with your followers, and then being able to track and analyze your results and possibly running some social media advertisements. So where do we start with social media marketing? Well, the first place we're going to start is choosing the right platform. The number one mistake, and we said this last week, that real estate agents do, and honestly, a lot of business owners in general, is they try to be on every platform at the same time. And the reason is you, you're, trying to, you're trying to get in front of everybody but they miss out because they're not consistently posting to every platform. So the worst thing you can do is to post a lot to Facebook and Instagram and have one tweet on Twitter. So make sure that when you're looking at the platforms you're using, make sure like you know who your target audience is. And we'll, we'll go into that in a, in a second, but you want to look at like, where are the people that you're, you're looking to, to attain? Where are they at? Are they on Facebook? Are they on Instagram? Are they on Pinterest, LinkedIn? So when you start choosing your platform, choose one, maybe two, and master posting on that consistently with quality content for your target audience. And then once you've mastered that, maybe then you add your third one or fourth one, and then, um, then you can consistently post on all of those channels. But the key is to post consistent quality content that's clear and concise. So once you've determined what platforms that you're going to want to use, then we got to determine who your target audience is. You know, are you a luxury agent? Are you a buyer's agent? Are you a listing agent? Who are the people you're going after? You're going after first time home buyers, um, investors, um, or you just maybe want to deal with leases. What are you going after? And make sure that whatever you post, whatever your content is, that it is speaking to those individuals only. Because the worst thing you can do is to have a mixed message on your social media profile. So one thing that we see a lot is that a lot of agents will post client stuff, and then also they're posting other content to help other agents. And unless you're trying to grow your brokerage or your team or your organization, then don't post content for other agents or other realtors post the content that is going to help your clients. So whether it's selling the lifestyle of that area, things to do in that area, or maybe people that are looking to relocate. So post content that helps them. And so that message is clear that you are a real estate agent and you're there to help buyers and sellers. And, you know, for Tharmila and I, we're trying to grow our organization and we're looking for other real estate agents to join our group and our team. And so we're going to be putting out content for agents as well, because that's the message we're sending. So make sure that you're posting clear content and a clear message for your audience. And then you need to develop a planner or a calendar of what you're going to post and when you're going to post. And a um, great, easy way to do this in, is in an Excel document. So you can lay out the days of the week and maybe post the categories of content that you would like to do. So 
Um, if you need help with that, we have a couple things for you. We do have like kind of a basic planner that uh, we'll share with everybody um, that allows you to kind of get an idea of what to post on certain days uh, to help you plan out that content. And we also have a great product um, that you can get more information on called a social media uh, calendar for realtors. And with this calendar, we literally put out daily what you should be posting, uh, some of them with edible templates and what content to use of your own, just to keep you posting quality content and posting content regularly and daily. And with posting content, you noticed before I said we need to post regularly and quality content. So whether you're going to post once or twice a week, or post every day, whatever you decide on your posting schedule, make sure it's consistent. Make sure that you're not posting five days one week and one day the next, because we wanna use the algorithm and the algorithm is gonna push you if you're consistently posting um, your content versus just sporadically, because it's gonna look like it's more important content versus just uh, content here and there. And one, one great way to do that without wasting a lot of time is to take long form content. So maybe a longer video, let's say, uh, or um, points, uh, five points on how to sell your home or five points on to get ready to buy your home. You can take those and segment each point into shorter form content and it gives you more content to post. Um, and then don't waste a lot of time coming up with content. Like I said, we have the planner uh, template that you can use. There's the, the monthly subscription that we have. And the reason why we have developed this and do, do this is a lot of realtors waste two to three hours a day just trying to plan content. And a lot of time they just end up not posting or they just post something random. There's no strategy behind it. Make sure that you're minimizing the time that it's taking you to post content because those are hours that you need to be putting back into your business. So um, now let's go ahead and talk about content marketing and I'm going to give that back to Tharmila. Awesome. Thanks so much, Jacob. That was uh, super informative. And now let's get into content marketing. Again, another aspect of digital marketing. So how do you leverage content marketing? What does it even mean? So content marketing to start off a definition is it pretty much is a process where you view creating and then sharing valuable free content to attract prospect and convert them into customers. So it could be almost like a lead magnet. So for example, you'll notice that one of the things that I'm gonna dive into later on is talking about lead generation strategies because people always wanna just go directly to getting leads. But in order for you to attract the leads and for customers to work with you, there's that no like trust factor, right? So how do you build a no like trust factor so quickly, right? You can't. So you need to give something credible, show your credibility, and you want to build trust that way, right? That's why people always jump to sphere of influence because people already know you. So I think it's really important that you, you know, the goal of content marketing, this is essentially one of the most important thing for you to keep in mind when you think about content marketing is for you to educate people. It's for you to entertain people. It's for you to inspire people so that you earn their trust and you build your brand awareness through that trust. So that no like trust factor, right? So, and this with anything that you do, any kind of whoever your target audience, whether it's sellers, buyers, investors, you want to show them that you're the knowledge holder, that you are the expert at it. And then in order for you to show this, you can do it through content marketing, essentially by sharing with people, you know, different types of content. And here's some of the examples that I've laid here for you from videos to guides, blogs, webinar, but, and this is just touching the surface. For example, let's say you want to build a blog. And remember guys, this is goes back to the same thing as what Jacob mentioned. Think about your capacity, right? Just because I've made a list of all of these types of content marketing, you know, it's, I'm going to be honest with you, you can't do them all. You just essentially can with the time that you have. So you have to think about what are you really good at? Are you good at putting out YouTube videos? And that's why we have agents in our group that are making, you know, multiple deals, closing, actually closing multiple deals a month, if anything, one deal a week, uh, just off being on YouTube, right? And we have agents that are creating content and are on TikTok getting multiple, closing multiple deals, not just getting leads, closing multiple deals a, a month on being on TikTok. So figure out what your niche is, what you're good at and stay consistent with it and be committed to that process so that you're building that no like trust factor over time because it's gonna take you that number of different posts, that number of different blog posts, that number of different videos to show people 
different different content over time you're educating them so for example let's talk about blogging um super easy to set up there's a number of different already built-in blog pages like tumblers and all these kind of things that you can create um, a sheet on and it could be simple as you talking about your market it could be simple as you talking about your market area market reports even um new developments that are coming happening in your city new restaurants you could start writing and reviewing some of the restaurants and shops and you know and even highlighting small businesses all together right you can even do top rated restaurants in your area and just thinking about you know five top five attractions you know, top five attractions to experience in your city. So really thinking about being the knowledge holder of that city, of that area um, are, is a great way to start. And another thing you could do is even, for example, you're not a camera person, let's say you don't have the ability to, you know, uh, because of whether it's time limitment or just resources from, you know, getting the camera to edit videos, to post, I get it. It's it's a quite a, an endeavor. That's why not a lot of people are on YouTube. Um, you could start podcasting. It's audio only. So you are already good at something. You already know this. That's why you want a lot of people to work with you. Now you've got to tell them why you want to work with them. Again, through that education, entertaining, inspiring, whatever, however you want to get there. But this is the type of content to use. And again, you can do this through email marketing as well, right? Um, and one of the things that really sells for people is visual content. And one of the ways that visual content is not only can they, and, the, and if you take it up the notch, that's why video converts so well, is there's that audio, there's, there's you speaking. So they get to learn your personality. You become vulnerable in front of the camera and they're like, and they can relate to your personality, right? And the other things that you can think about doing too is things like um, guides, like eBooks or things that, that are walking people through a process, whether it's seller's guide, buyer's guide. Another really great example that a lot of people aren't doing is, um, you know, for example, if you want to target investors, you could put together a startup guide, a beginner guide to getting into investing in real estate. So things that a lot of other people aren't doing. And remember, you're giving this content away for free in order for you to get the leads into your database so that you can nurture them over time. So these are different type of it's content marketing, but it's a different type of a lead magnet for you to bring people in. So really be open mind about the strategy, really essentially with content marketing, one of the key component of this, of this is that you wanna do your research, make sure your content is accurate so that your credibility, the most important is that you're, you remain credible at all time, right? And, you're, and your messaging is clear, make sure it's concise so that people get it and it's compelling. You're doing things that other, a lot of other people aren't doing and there's an impact, right? So one thing that a lot of people need help with clients, especially first time home buyers, is the process of buying a property for the first time. And it's often they get to know that by calling somebody, but what if you had an ebook or a, a, or a video that explains somebody how to, how to property buy a property? Um, so how to properly buy a property. So really essentially building and earning their trust and building your awareness over time through content marketing. So I think essentially in a nutshell, and again, if you have any questions as to if you're thinking about a particular content, a marketing strategy and you're stuck again that's what jacob and i are here for feel free to leave uh you know ask us in the question we're happy to get to it at the end of our end of our webinar session so next next let's jump to, jump into another really interesting aspect of digital marketing that a lot of people don't talk about this is really where the meat is where a lot of the juice so i'm going to hand it right back to jacob to kind of take this on yeah, and this is one of my favorite topics because this is what I've done my whole career in digital marketing was build websites. And the one thing clients asked is I need really good SEO. And what I've noticed in the real estate realm is most people, one, aren't you really utilizing these SEO or SEM to its full potential. And most of them just don't know what it is. <laughs> Let's be honest. So there's a lot of acronyms around in this, um, in digital marketing. Um, so Let's talk about, so SEO is search engine optimization, and then SEM is search engine marketing. And what is the purpose of these two things? Before we talk about the differences and what they are, what is the purpose of search engine optimization and search engine marketing? And basically it's to bring a greater quality and quantity of traffic to your website. Um, and in order to succeed this, you really 
you've got to know who you're going after, what they're searching for, because it's all based on keywords and search terms. So what is the difference between search engine optimization and search engine marketing? The main difference is that search engine marketing is focused on optimizing a website in order to get people there organically. And organic traffic would be, let's say you go search for a realtor near me. And when you search that, you see all of those search um, um, queries on your page, on the search engine results page, you're gonna see all those listed and there's gonna be 10 results on the page and they're all listed in a specific order. Well, that is organic searching and it's based on competition. And there's, there's over 250 factors that can go into Google for how you rank on that page, whether you're on page one, two, three, four, or whether you're in the top spot. And then we notice at the top, there's always with a little word ad, there's always the ads at the top. That would be search engine marketing. This would be when you are um, paying for visibility and that you wanna be put up at the top and you want to be visible faster. So um, with search engine marketing, we're gonna be doing Google ads, maybe even Facebook ads, you know, based on what people have searched in the past, you've seen them where they're retargeting them on the side. That all has to do with what you've been searching. Some great ways um, with, with paid ads is so that way you're not having to wait over time for your website to rank. With search engine optimization, it's more of a longer um, game. You're, you're in it for the long haul. It could take um, some clients I've seen where they've taken 60 days, some clients I've seen where because of competition in the area, it's taken six months, but they're in it for the long haul to build quality content so that they can meet all that criteria and rank. So with search engine optimization, how do you accomplish that? So on your um, realtor website, you could start a blog and those blogs can include keywords for your areas and attractions and things to do. So people are coming onto that content that you have, um, even maybe posting a video and putting it in your blog. So search engine optimization is something that you're gonna do to get organically and it's free. And then with search engine marketing, you're, it's something that you're gonna to wanna to do because you need visibility now. So another thing that helps with search engine um, optimization is Google My Business. And uh, it's something that you're, every realtor needs to set up is a Google My Business page and make sure you're posting to it. It is a social media platform. You can put posts and photos and videos as well, but you also need to make sure that all of those keywords about what you offer and you being a realtor in that area, have friends, family, coworkers, go leave you a review, a review about what's it like to work with you. So you can start building those reviews so you can start um, ranking better in, and, and show up in those search results. And then um, another form we talked about with search engine marketing is pay-per-click. So running Google ads, um, Facebook ads, anything that's going to drive traffic to your website. So that way you can get people to look through your, um, your um, IDX. So your all the properties that are available. And then that way you can capture their information and put that into your CRM. So how do you decide which strategy is better for you? So if you're looking to grow your website's traffic, the value of traffic over time, then search engine or uh, optimization is for you. If you're looking to get traffic immediately, then you're gonna to wanna to look towards more search engine marketing and look for more paid advertising. So this is a topic that I literally can sit here for an hour and get kind of geek out on. And maybe I'll do a video on this, but it is something that realtors are not using. So make sure that you have all your keywords set up on your website. You have the descriptions filled in, you have your title tags filled in. Um, there's even tools with SEM Rush where you can go find out what the competition of is a keyword. Because if you're using a keyword that has high competition, that means you're competing with a lot of people to rank for that. So look for keywords that have maybe a medium or low competition. So you rank instantly for those and you can slowly start building up um, your website's reputation with the search engine. So if you have any more questions on that, feel free to ask. I'm here to answer that. But this is something that's not utilized with realtors that I recommend you looking more into and implementing that into your marketing strategy. Awesome. Thanks so much, Jacob. We're going to now dive into marketing through a 
for, first, I wanted to say marketing through CRM. And today in particular, I want to talk about KV Core Platform. And the reason I want to talk about KV Core Platform is one of the, is, this is one of the most robust tools and it's one of the uh, leading edge technology in terms of CRMs that are out there. And for those of you that obviously are already licensed, you probably are with a brokerage that has a CRM and there's tons of CRMs out there. And today I want to talk to you particularly about KV Core Platform because it's a smart CRM. And the, the ability that it has in order for you to audit um, and also do lead generation, which is goes keys and key, key, key um, it goes hand in hand with kind of helping you leverage digital marketing altogether. So let's talk about um, digital marketing and how the KB Co platform really connects with the automation and lead generation. So landing pages and squeeze pages. So what is a landing page? So landing page on a website is you can create a page where you can funnel and bring your clients through, whether it's through an ad, through post, et cetera, you're going to bring them in. So through a funnel and they're going to click, they're going to add their name in to, to get a lead magnet. Again, that content marketing that we talked about. So then this way you're, again, you're building lead genning through lead generating the rule uh, a landing page. And the next one is an IDX squeeze page. And I'm gonna show you an example of this in a moment. So what an IDX squeeze page is, for example, you can go to your website. For us, KB Core platform is a three-in-one tool. So it is a robust system where not only is a smart CRM, it is a lead generation tool, for example, hence what I'm going through some of the lead generation strategies, but it also had the ability to create and have your own personal website that is integrated with IDX, which is MLS system. So this is where you're gonna go to your website, you're going to grab a link that is going to, for example, going to create a link that uh, that is confined to a search. For example, let's say you want to attract buyers that are looking for properties that are single family properties that are in your area. Let's say bungalows in your area that are under $800,000. Then you would go and put that search criteria into your website. It'll generate a link for you, a direct link that you're now able to, whether you want to run ads on them, show them on social media, you want to get it out to people, whether you're going to put them in a, you're going to share them with you on a YouTube video and then maybe add it in your description. So again, another way for people to come to your website, start searching for properties. And the beautiful part about this is because it's, it's a KV Core platform connection, they're going to start to view the property or start searching within that direct link, that search confinement that you sent them criteria. And the moment they start looking at a property, it really depends. You have the ability to enable this, let's say three to five clicks, they start clicking it. Now, they are not able to proceed forward unless they log in. Hence, you're going to get a ping on your phone saying that you have a lead. So another really interesting way for you to generate leads, again, this is for free, unless you want to run ads on them. That's a totally different, in order for you to increase your reach. But again, a really smart strategy. And the other thing that I want to talk about is, goes hand in hand with squeeze pages too, is the website and direct links that you can do on a single property. Again, there's squeeze pages that you can do on a multiple property, on a multiple search criteria, but you can also do it on a single property as well. So let's say you got permission from a listing agent, someone in your group or someone from your brokerage, or even your own listing that you want to get out and do promotion on, you could take that promotion, that direct link and start sharing with your SOI, your following, and get maybe you run an ad on it. Um, and again, people will start going to your website, very similar to the squeeze page and landing page, they'll start exploring. And X amount of clicks later, they're going to be pulled into the CRM. The part about this is that, okay, great. Now they're in your database. What do I do with these people now? Do I call them? Do I contact them? How do I nurture them? How do I convert them? And we all know this when a new lead comes in. And that's why when you're joining a brokerage and remember, they'll tell you, hey, come in, I'll give you tons of leads. But that lead can be Jane Doe, John Smith. You don't know them. They're strangers. That's what they're called a lead. And remember, they're a new lead when they come into your CRM. But when they in start interacting with you, and whether it's they reply to your email, your text message call, which I'll get to in a second of how to implement that, now they become an active lead. And then let's say they start continue to respond to your content and now they wanna start looking for a property. They'll, and then you'll start showing them property. So put them on a search alert, they become your client. Remember, you haven't yet put them on a contract yet. Now you show them a property, that you vetted them, you qualified them, they're ready to be put on contract, they're ready to go. You put them on contract, and then we all know this, how many times have I had people on contract and then you don't close the deal, right? Things come up, that, that's unforeseen circumstances, the barriers that you have no control over, and then you close the deal, right? So that's kind of the process, the journey that is captured. And you'll see that when you go into CR, um, to KV Core, when you pull them up, it'll, it'll have a, 
a client lead profile and it'll show you their journey, which you can allocate and tell them, hey, this is a sphere, this is a prospect, this is a new lead. This person's now on contract. Now they're, I have a deal closed. And the beautiful part about all of this is that you can go into KB Core and it does the numbers for you. It's under business analytics is tracking all of your numbers. Remember what we always, Jacob and I always preach about. If you can't measure it, then you have no idea how to analyze your business. You have no idea where your business is going. So a lot of the time people come to us agents, you know, when we do consulting work, a lot of agents tell us, hey, I haven't gotten any leads. I'm not getting any clients. The first thing I ask them is, okay, tell me what you're doing. Show me a business plan. Show me what you've been working on. And it's a separate conversation, right? So now that we have understand that we've gotten the we've gotten leads into our CRM, where do we go from here? And this is where, for me, someone like me who was doing, we started off in the industry doing this part-time and I have so many other obligations and commitments like family pressures, having young children. I needed to do things smart. So that's why smart campaigns come in is where it helps you do a lot of the interactions with your lead, especially a lot of the earlier ones, because remember, they're coming through a funnel, right? You want to start nurturing them and they don't quite know you there, know you yet. That's why you want to build that no like trust factor. So you want to be able to implement some sort of an automation for you to save time, but also give them this content marketing in order for you to convert them. So you want to be able to give them information that is educating them, informing them, giving them what they're looking for so you can convert them over time. And you can do it through a number of different methods. The method can be a phone call. It could be a voicemail drop. It could be a text message. And remember, people communicate very differently. I had a client that I closed a deal on. I was nurturing her over time in my CRM. In KB Core, I sent her a couple of text messages, no response. I sent her an email, no response, but she picked up my call and she spoke to me, we closed the deal. But you see, she's not a text person. Maybe she was at work, she saw the text. And you know how many times have you, you know, your friend texted you, you saw the message, you read it and you're like, I'll get back to them because you were busy, but you forgot to get back to them, not because you were ignoring them, you genuinely, it wasn't unread, right? The notification wasn't there, so you forgot it. So it's, you know, you don't know when you've contacted them. That's why time of day matters, time of week matters. What if somebody's on a vacation? And they never got your text message. Um, what if your email went to junk mail, depending on the keyword that you use? So keep all of that in mind about smart campaign. But essentially, the strategy behind this is automation. So lead generation, but automation in order to nurture them. And people often, there's also a, a disconnect between, you know, having a CRM of this capacity of this robust tool like KV Core. But often people get so stressed out learning the system instead of having the system work for you, they're working for their system. So, you know, that's why when I joined the company at eXp Realty, our brokerage, we have access to KB Core for free. I wanted to learn the system because I knew that a lot of agents were leaving their brokerage as top producing agents to come to our brokerage so they can use a model like KB Core to help them advance their career, to help them save time in the process so they're not stuck working with, you know, a lot of virtual assistants and such. So I think it's really important for you is to, get into a mindset of starting out and scaling your business from the beginning. Remember guys, the days are gone of you putting your leads on papers and uh, you know, writing information on, on Google Keep and Excel document. Trust me, I have 500 plus contacts in my database right now in KB Core. And this is not even my sphere of influence. This is just new leads that I've generated through number of different prospecting method. And the crazy part about this is that I've done it in the past not even what eight, nine months of being a real estate agent part time above and beyond me, uh, helping grow my organization and my team. So I'm able to do this because and to interact with these people and close the past six deals I was able to do is because of CR of of a CRM of this of this magnitude and which is KV Core. So it was able to, but I I leveraged KV Core to help me save time and to give me more. Essentially, I was trying to buy time, right? Um, so I want you to take advantage of this tool. And another aspect to KV Core that I really want to touch up on is email marketing. You know, there you are able to through their marketplace, uh, you know, get contact, uh, constant contact. You're able to integrate Mailchimp. These are all email marketing softwares. But you can also schedule mass emails directly through KV Core. Yes, it's it's not as robust as using your own email marketing software, which obviously as a marketing professional, a marketing consultant, I highly encourage you to use an email marketing software so you're able to kind of measure from the beginning. But a lot of agents, if you're a new agents coming into the business and you're not quite familiar with marketing, you're not quite familiar with this kind of technology, 
use KB Core, use their training, use something of this type. So when you're looking for a brokerage, guys, I know that a lot of new agents are in here. Ask the question, what kind of CRM do I have? What kind of tools and resources do I have to help me that's going to help me advance my advance my business so quickly that I don't have to really take time learning and creating new systems in place when I already have that at the broker. So it's super key that you understand that. And then you asked for that. And the other thing that's just, you know, cherry on top of the icing on the cake, right, is, is the paid advertising that you're able to run direct Facebook ads, Google ads directly through KV Core so that there's no, you don't even have to do the Zapier, um, you know, the automation of bringing in and importing your leads, whether it's automatically or manually, right, it still work. Um, it directly pulls in leads for you through, uh, through KV Core running and setting up ads. How many times have we, you know, Jacob and I have done our own ads through our own nat native platform, which is our own personal business pages, and you have to import them or send them through Zapier or some sort of a, a third party tool to, to kind of push the leads into your database when it could do it for you. And they're creating your ads for you, which, uh, and which I will get into momentarily is that they have the ability to really, to really redefine that, uh, that, that search, that special ad category of, you know, um, targeting only to that 50 miles radius, you're able to go in a little bit more closer to within your uh, within your network, which is kind of awesome. You know, within this line, I wanted to kind of dive into and talk, show you a little bit of, you know, what is a smart CRM? And I think that a lot of the time when I talk about KV Core, people get super excited about it and they start asking me a lot of questions. And I wanted to kind of dive into kind of walking you through what a smart CRM is. A smart CRM essentially, guys, so again, when you're interviewing a brokerage or you're with a brokerage and you're looking to kind of find a tool that works for you. KV Core, if you wanted to go buy this in the market, it's what, 8,000 to 10,000 if you want to buy it on a yearly basis. It's not affordable to do it as a single agent. That's why you want to partner with a brokerage that's already have this as a tool for us. We pay, we don't pay for this as a free tool for us. And remember my, my website, my own free website is integrated through the system. I'm able to, it's a smart CRM. So it's a customer relation management. All my clients and my contacts are all in here. And I have the ability to run and lead generate through this platform. So it's a three in one tool. And, and to be honest, it's like a five in one tool because now I have the ability to track my metrics. I'm able to do email marketing. Like I can go on forever folks. And I talked about the landing page, the squeeze pages, and I get super passionate about it. If you're following me on social media and particularly on my YouTube channel, you'll notice that I was, I had a lot of, you know, very small clippets of, you know, KV Core tutorials because I'm passionate about teaching agencies. And that's why Jacob and I, when we started our marketing mindset, it was one of those pillars that we wanted to add was a KV Core setup because it is a robust system. And a lot of people, when you're coming into a company of our sort, which is a cloud-based brokerage, it can be overwhelming, right? And it can be intimidating if you're not so used to the technology. So at EXP Realty, we have the ability to use the CRM to kind of be the nucleus of our business to help us advance, have that competitive advantage, helping us save time so that we are able to spend more time with our clients. The next that I wanted to go into is the Web IDX. Remember I told you about that you get your own personal website. This is mine. Um, again, you could see that I'm, I'm logged in. You can integrate, put all of your social media integrated into here. When you click on your agent, I have my profile for my husband and I in here. Um, and you know, your name, your, your city. So remember when whatever brokerage, whatever uh, real estate board that you join, it's integrated, the IDX is integrated to here. You can add a number of different plugin. Uh, you're able to add your logo, change your banner, but that's it. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to be a master website designer developer like Jacob is, who has a formal training in that. You don't need to hire someone like Jacob, which costs a lot of money, right? So this is something that I did. I don't have website. Well, I do have um you know, experience in auditing website, but not from a technical, from, from building websites like Jacob. That's why I hire people like Jacob to build websites for me and design websites for me. But this website is done for you. All you have to do is they have a video in KB Core in the back end where I showed you just momentarily where you go into Web IDX, they show you a video on how to set it up. You add in all the images, your logos and your profile and you're good to go. So, and you have your own unique URL now that you can put that on your link tree, share them on your YouTube and get it out there. And that's another aspect to, and this is a very smart website, guys. The, the, the search engine, like the, the keywords on this is just, it, it trumped so many of my websites that I used to have years of my work. 
um, in such short amount of time, which is amazing. And also the ability that it's able to integrate it with KV Core. So the ability to pull in and lead generate into your database is just, uh, it's super powerful. Next, I want to talk about is just lead gen. You know, people always ask us, so what does that mean when you talk about lead gen? And this is, guys, one aspect to KV Core. This is one aspect. And this is where I just took a quick snip, uh, a quick uh, screenshot of my own database right now in real time. I took a photo of our property boost, which is one of the ads that you can run, which is a Facebook ad that you're, you could pay directly into KV Core to run for you. You know, they, they set everything up and they pull that the, the content, I guess, the leads directly into your database. And I ran seven ads. You're able to boost a property, whether it's your own listing or that you can get permission to boost someone else's listing, another agent's listing. And if you tell me right now that if you have the potential, I'm in Toronto, uh, in Canada, and uh, a single family detached home, three bedroom is going for 1. Uh, 1, 1 million to 1.5 mil, depending on where it is. And if you're telling me right now that you potentially paid $5.33 to get a potential a million dollar listing, then you don't understand the math of, of you know, the conversion, right? So to me, this is beautiful. And I did only, only time that I spent into this was literally doing maybe three clicks to open up property boost, putting in my payment and, and pressing start. And also just sending a quick text message to an agent, if it's not my own listing, to get permission. If not, then I would run my own list. So there's also a time saver there. So just the immense amount of shares and, and, and leads that I was able to get through this was a substantial just through running one ad, right? So just wanted to let you know that you could do a lot of your business through digital marketing, through a, a software, a tool like this, a, a CRM that you, are, that you aren't even paying for, which is amazing. The next part of lead generation that I wanna to talk to you about, I wanna show it to you is exactly that squeeze page that I spoke, that spoke to you about and why this website is so powerful. So again, this is my website, mine and my husband's. And this is, for example, a search category that I did for to show within the greater Toronto area in properties to show everything pretty much that are going for within that is available that are that are on the listing there's about 800 results that came up that are for single family condos multi and I just did a large search but just to show you that this is what a squeeze page would look like you know you would run ads on them if you don't want to pay for it you can share it on social media through YouTube videos again content marketing and get it out there they'll come click on this the moment they open this again one two click depending on the amount of clicks the automation you, that you have put on in the back end it'll enable them to kind of um, triggering them to log in so that hence you're building leads into your database. Um, now it's a really good segue into us kind of jumping into going over. So now that you talked about digital marketing, you talked about like, now we kind of got into how we were leveraging that, leveraging this tool for us in our business. I want to take it up a notch and say, how, how are we doing things here differently in our group? Um, at EXP, we have the ability to work with Jacob and I in our organizations. Again, you're you're not part of a traditional team with us. You're not paying any splits, fees, nothing. You're not using our branding. We're a tightly knit group of people that are really redefining the way real estate agents are working together. We want we want our agents to do well, so we're providing them number of different services and support and resources. So here um, at EXP, our group. We have access to our co-founders, uh, Mike Sherrard, as well as Connor Steinbrook. You've probably heard of them. You've probably seen a lot of their ads. Um, Mike Sherrard, he's a, a number one realtor on social media in Alberta. He is uh, the number one agent at eXp Realty in terms of having the fastest growing group, which is Agent Wolfpack at eXp. And he is an amazing person. He's a well, widely known as a social media expert, a coach. He, uh, he taught over uh, 3,000 plus agents in his time, you know, doing work for social media for real estate agent. And he launched a, a product a couple of months back called Social Agent Academy. And this cost over $1,000 for you to have access to, if, um, but we have access to this for free. And this is pretty much, if you've seen any of, um, of my, Schwartz videos on his social media. He talks about this product and it's pretty much, he literally does step-by-step step of Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, where he goes into in-depth into all of these platform, not only getting you, helping you start your channel, getting yourself on this platform, but he helps you do lead generation, to post, how to manage 
each of the channels and how to really help grow your following and to create leads. So that you have access to this for free. The next is through our group, myself and my husband, Josh Tavares, as well as Jacob and Kyle and all these people and our partners within our group. We have a private Google Drive that you have access to when you join our group, where we have everything from uh, monthly market reports to an integrated marketing plan, a social media plan, a marketing plan, so buyer's guide, seller's guide that you are able to take, edit to your market, uh, accordingly, as well as add to your brand and you're able to share. So all the work is done for you that we have access to. And we even have list of, um, you know, lead magnets that you can run social uh, SOI. So sphere of influence marketing plan, everything kind of there for you to leverage. Next, I want to talk about is above and beyond the private mastermind calls that Connor and Mike Sherrard runs on a weekly basis. So they hold up to an hour upline. They have up to four private mastermind calls that happen every week. Everything from mindset, production, agent attraction, team building, all of that good stuff. My group, we're running. I also host a weekly um, private weekly mastermind call where we talk about marketing strategies, team building, and really helping motivate and give resources on a weekly basis to our team. And I even do a KV core Q and a training, all of that good stuff. Next, I want to talk about is Jacob and I are admin of uh, private Facebook communities with over 200 plus members um, where you are able to share your content, help grow your reach and following and interacting with other real estate agents across the world, which is awesome. The next I wanted to kind of touch upon is just recently we um, we launched a lunch and learn called Friday Connect for Realtors here in Toronto, creating a local community for real estate agents. Again, you have that local connection here, ability for you to grow your own organization here. So you have the ability to invite agents to our 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 event. We're able to not only give them a training but also share our revolutionary brokerage model with them as well. So in the process, we all kind of creating a community so that we can learn, earn, and grow together. Um, and you, this is um, something that we started in Toronto just literally two weeks ago. And Jacob is planning to do one in Houston, and we're going to be doing some in different aspects of, of the states as well. So stay tuned for that. Follow us on social media if you want more information as to how you can take part in this. The next I wanted to share with you is that you know, as Jacob and I, we've been in the marketing fields for X amount of years. We're doing a disservice by not providing our our, our service to our team. So we are we do one-on-one -on -one marketing consultations for our team um, where we do an audit of everything that you're doing on your brand audit, looking at your messaging and everything that you're really working on. So that's what we're here for you. And next I wanna pass on to Jacob to talk a little bit about some of our other values, um, our value proposition for our group that we provide. Yeah, and one of the the biggest values I think we're we're use, utilizing right now is YouTube. We've kind of come together and collaborated to build a what we call the Real Estate Agent Collective YouTube channel. It's where we're all getting together, sharing our experiences and our passions for real estate, helping each other grow. And so um, you can see um, past our past videos that we did um, recapping our clubhouse, which is what started all of this uh, to help new realtors and to fuel that. And uh, we also are um, talking to the, the people on our team and how, where, how they got into real estate and how they are doing and why they chose their brokerage and how, how did they get started. And then Tharmila and I are also doing videos on digital marketing and social media marketing. So KV Core. So this is a great channel to subscribe to. Please go subscribe, like it, comment on anything that maybe you would like to see a specific topic. We would love to cover that for you. Um, something that you need help on, maybe put it in the chat as well. Um, but definitely go subscribe because we're putting out content every week uh, to help you grow your real estate business. And so one of the next things that we, Tharmil and I have done, we talked about marketing mindset earlier, and we literally are truly here to take our past um, backgrounds in marketing and digital marketing and help realtors really grow their business. There's so much materials out there today. Um, you know, even in our own group, we have a social media course, which is great to learn how to do social media marketing and take your business to the next level. And we wanted to, to also have something there for those who don't have the time, maybe to take a course and maybe to learn everything about digital marketing, because, you know, at the end of the day, you are a realtor. And for those people, marketing mindsets, um, social media calendar for realtors is 
the perfect thing. Um, instead of spending two to three hours a day planning your social media, you can spend two to three hours a week um, getting your social media ready. And so what our social media calendar for realtors is, is it's a monthly subscription for $49 a month. So it's a, about $1.63 a day um, that you can put into your business and help it grow. And basically what we've done for you is we've taken a calendar and have a daily post with strategies, recommended captions and hashtags to help you um, post consistently with quality content to help grow and reach your target audience. And one thing that's great about our product versus maybe something else that's out there is that it's not just editable templates. You get access to edit templates in Canva um, to, to have a nice design style and help um, elevate your brand. But we're also teaching you how to, when you're out and about, how to network with local professionals, local businesses, showcase your community. Because remember, at the end of the day, you're not selling houses, you're not selling real estate, you're selling the lifestyle to living in your community and why people will choose this house over one in another area. And so we really want to teach you how to not only network with people, but how to leverage their audiences. You know, if you have a popular restaurant or a, a place to go and they have three, six, 10,000 followers, you can post and share those things and, and have that business repost your stuff in their stories or on their, um, their timeline. And that way you're getting in front of an audience that you've never gotten into. So this, I could spend an hour talking about this and this product is just a very big passion for us because we, it's really helping realtors out there to put more time back in their business into the fundamentals and not spend so much time trying to be a digital marketer like everybody today, but actually post quality content that has a strategy and there's other things that is included with the product. We have a content depot with um, extra posts and stuff to help you with your solds and your upcoming listings and your open houses, as well as what we call, um, we have our, our archives, which is basically um, digital and print templates. So signage, business cards, um, other things to help you build your real estate business and put more time back into it instead of spending so much time on marketing. And so that is the product we have. So if you're interested in it, uh, let us know. You can go to our website, which is in our link trees on our social media. It's members.marketingmindset.biz. And you can get a free seven-day trial to check it out. And we know you're going to love it. So I'm going to awesome. go ahead and hand it back over to you. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Jacob. And before we jump into q and I know we have a couple of questions that came in. We're going to go over them. I wanted to just, I always share this. If you know me and you've seen my presentation, I always share this quote that says, fortune favors the prepared mind. And to me, you know, when you think about putting yourself out there and attracting good people, um, you know, great things, luck, fortune, greatness, you need to be prepared, you need to do the research, you need to do the homework, and you have to be prepared to have an open mind about the opportunity to accept opportunities. And I think that's why wherever you go as a real estate agent, go into it thinking that, you know, I want to be great. I want to, here's my goal and this is what I'm going after. And I'm, I have a, the prepared mind for it. So I really wanted to uh, end, end our presentation with that. And I hope you took on a lot of information. And I know that, you know, we're, we're going to be sending an email out right after this with, with some of some things that are going to be useful for you as well. So now well, let's jump into Q and A before we close the webinar. So one of the questions that came in, actually, maybe Jacob can help answer this too, because you touched upon a little bit in the social media platform is, you know, as a new agent, what social media platform do you recommend getting started on? For me, I think if I had um, only one to choose, um, which could be a two, two different ones, but um, I would definitely choose Instagram just because people like the scrolling aspect. And I feel like Right now, there's a higher conversion with Instagram as far as Facebook. Um, more people are apt to following on Facebook or Instagram and using it more. But if you're better with video, I would highly recommend just getting started on YouTube. Just nail it with YouTube if you're good with video editing. If you're not, maybe a shorter content, definitely Instagram would be the way to go for me. Yeah, beautiful, Jacob. And I also want to touch upon that too, guys. When that question, when you think about what should I do as a new agent? Remember, all goes back to your capacity. Are you full-time? Are you part-time? You know, you're getting training. You're just getting started. You're meeting with your mentors. So what can you essentially post? Remember, Jacob touched upon this. If you rather post 
more content over time, the decreased co content, because it's going to work against your algorithm. Remember, if you can stick to one thing, if you have to choose between one, I, you know, just like what Jacob said, get on YouTube. If you're comfortable, if you're good at it, spend all of your energy in it and use other social media to just share the content from YouTube just to help you. So right. you don't have, you're not creating anything. You're just creating this one content marketing aspect, which is YouTube and videos, and then using other platforms to just help you promote it and to bring viewership to it. So just think smart, think strategic, and not just pie in the sky, something will stick because trust me, you're putting a lot of you out there and uh, it might not kind of work out in your favor because you'll burn out quickly. So just keep that in mind. Um, one of the questions that came about, oh yeah, because we talked about our group, we talked about uh, if we join our group, do we get access to Mike's offers? Yes, for those of you that do follow Mike Sherrard and are familiar with the Age of Wolf Pack and all the offerings that Mike talks about in his videos, yes. The beautiful part is I'm sponsored by Mike Sherrard and um, we and and I, I sponsored Jacob into the company. So we have whatever, whoever invited you to this call, as well as myself and Jacob, if you were to join through our group and were to put our um, and identify us in the independent contract agreement as your sponsor, then you have access to, then we can give you access to all of our resources, including all of our upline, including our sponsors, people like Connor Steinbrook, his team building course, his onboarding course, his investment army courses as well as um all of the things that i shared with you today about what i offer as well so yes that's a great question and the other question that we had as well is um oh and jacob can answer this what else is included in the i know you touched upon this jacob but if you don't mind going in a little bit more deep into talking about the social <laughs> media planner subscription so what else is included beside the calendar that's the question so again, the, the base of the program is the daily calendar, but aside from the calendar, you're going to have access to our content depot, which basically is just an extra archive of posts. So that would be maybe, um, and they're all edible templates. So um, that can be edited in Canva. So you're talking about um, your sold listings, upcoming listings, new listings, like a just listed, open houses, um, we put in stuff for holidays and um, uh, mindset and inspirational stuff that you can incorporate to post extra stuff if you're wanting to post uh, maybe more frequently or about a specific um, holiday or mindset or quote um, I, um, post. And then the other thing we have is our archive, which basically is all of the templates that we offer, which could be like a digital template like um, the, the planner that we talked about, um, um, there's a guide for how to properly use hashtags. And then we have the whole print and marketing side of things. So, um, business cards, your signage, um, car magnets, things like that. We're going to have in there as well to help you also with more of the physical type marketing, the print uh, marketing uh, that you would normally use for your business. That way you can keep basically an established brand and keep everything consistent. And on top of that, we're going to be adding shortly, um, if you're wanting to get started in YouTube, topics to talk about in YouTube, how to do your intro and um, some other tips and tricks. So it's literally really a program that is all encompassing to help you tackle social media marketing and digital marketing. So, um, and for $1.63 a day, I mean, you can't even get a cup of coffee for that. So it's really a no brainer to do. And no matter how you use it, and no matter if you buy in the beginning of the month or the, the end of the month or the, uh, the middle, you just start on day one and go. There's a strategy for everything. And um, there's not many posts that are time sensitive. And uh, we also have a market report, which is super helpful. It is to lay out your market updates each month to have a consistent uh, look and feel so people know um, that, oh, that's the market report. I want to see how things are looking this month. Should I buy or sell? So we give you a lot of topics and things to cover and how to do short videos um, for your social media. So literally, it's there's so much to cover what it includes. And uh, like I said, if you have more questions, let us know, go check out our website. We have everything there and just register for a free trial and, and test it out. And if you don't like it, no hard feelings, but I'm pretty sure you're not going to cancel. So it's really great. Awesome. That's great answer, Jacob. And I wanted to just lightly touch upon that and say, I know that we have, uh, whether you're a new agent or, and I know we have a couple of producers in here as well. I just wanted to let you guys know, my biggest advice to you folks is that 
remember, like with you finding a mentor, right? You're not going to find a mentor to help you with the, all of your business. You find aspects of where you need, you know, improvement on and you align with people to help you with that. So if you're not, if your strength is in marketing or social media, and if you don't have a, a formal training in marketing, and you don't know where to start, align yourself with people who've done the work already and get yourself out there with very limited funds, right? You don't have to run Facebook ads. A lot of the time people get into this, uh, you know, this, this industry, start running a lot of Facebook ads, waste a lot of money, and then they learn, which is great. But now you could have, you could have spent more time. You know, you're not a marketing professional. What's, what are you going to do with this learning now that you've learned it after you're spending, you know, $5,000 in Facebook ads. So be more cognizant of, you know, how do I leverage and scale myself and, and think about your time. And, and, you know, and if you weren't with us for our first section, I highly recommend it, even though it was really about the getting started, you know, if it's for new agents and soon to be, but I highly, highly recommend you go watch it because we talk about a lot of things for you to do upfront in your business to kind of leverage and streamline and kind of make a smart decision. But um, that's it. If anybody else have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. But I think that um, we don't have any other questions. Jacob, do you have any questions on your end that shows up? No, I don't have anything over here. Let me, nope, nothing okay. showing up here. Awesome. Thank you so much, everyone, for spending this Monday afternoon with us. We have a lot more uh, webinars coming up in the future. If you haven't yet um, looked into registering, we will be sending out an email to everyone that have attended. And for those of you who might be seeing this on YouTube, it's going to be uh, in our description to register for our new events coming in the future. Feel free to get into our database so that you are able to also get a lot of our new things that Jacob and I have planned for in the future and tons of free events for you to participate in. So we really appreciate you kind of tuning in. And if you have any questions, feel free to jump in. Any last word, Jacob, before we close the webinar? No, just basically um, be consistent and just take action. You know, we went over a lot of information and a lot of people aren't tech savvy and this just goes right over their head, but just focus on one or two things that we talked about and just do it well and put all of your energy into it and just take action and give it time to work. Beautiful. Well said. Thank you so much, everyone. Now that my children are making noises, I think it's a <laughs> great segue to say goodbye and stay connected. I'm looking forward to seeing all of you back again next Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern Time Sharp. Thank you, Jacob, for joining me. It was a wonderful, wonderful webinar. We learned a ton. See you next time. Bye.